thanks for watching this video on hamstring injury treatment. In this video, what I'm gonna go through is how to treat a pulled hamstring. Before I get to it, who I am is Rick Caselge, and I am an injury expert. I focus on helping people overcome their injury injuries and pain with exercise. Now getting back to how to treat a pulled hamstring. What the common thinking out there and the common focus from doctors and other therapists is to focus in on strengthening and stretching a hamstring that's been injured. But that is not what is the best way to treat a hamstring. Yes, you need to do some hamstring strengthening and stretching, but what's more important that you need to focus in on before the stretching and strengthening is agility work and on core stability. And what I mean by agility work is doing dynamic movements, and that could be walking forward, walking backwards, high knees, uh, movements where you're going forward, bringing the heel towards the seat. You might see this when it comes to a warm up that a runner ends up uh, doing. The second thing is the core stability side of things. So looking at strengthening your abdominal area so that it is strong in all directions, forward, back, side to side, and in the spinning plane. So that is it. That's what you need to focus in on when it comes to treating a pulled hamstring. Focus in on the agility and focus in on the core stability. And then after that, add the hamstring strengthening and the hamstring stretching. So there you go. This is Rick Casales from exercisesforinjuries.com and also from hamstringinjurysolution.com. If you're looking for a resource when it comes to injuries and exercise, head by, head by exercisesforinjuries.com. If you're looking for a full solution when it comes to your hamstring injury, head on over to hamstringinjurysolution.com. So this is Rick Aselge saying take care and bye-bye.